Have you always been wondering how to easily match your video clips to the beat of the music? Kind of like this? Or this? Stick around and I'll show you the easiest and fastest way to do it. This method that I'm about to show you will change the way on how you edit videos in Premiere Pro. You no longer need to manually drag and drop each individual clip to the timeline and do some cropping and matching to the beat of the song. This process is done automatically, but with a few manual adjustments depending on your preference, of course. Alright, let's open up Premiere Pro and let me show you how it's done. So I've already imported all the clips that we will be using for this project. I have also imported the music that we will be using for this example. First, you need to set the in and out points to each of your video clips. You can do so by clicking the left and right bracket icon. I'll speed this up so we can proceed to the next step. Next, play the music and then add markers to the timeline by clicking the letter M on the keyboard. Make sure to put markers on the timeline and not on the audio clip. It's really your own preference on where you want to add the markers so you can put the video clips on them. Okay, so I put all the markers that I want in the timeline. It's now time to add the video clips. Click the first marker on the timeline, then select all the clips in your project panel. Go to Clip, Automate Sequence. Ordering is set to Sort Order. Placement is at Unnumbered Markers. Method is Override Edit. And Still Clip Duration is set to Use In and Out Range. Then click OK. As you can see here, since we only have a few clips, we still have some markers that don't have any videos on it. So we just repeat the process. You can also go through your clips again and change the in and out points so the clips are not repetitive. But for this example, I'll just go ahead and use the same. Okay, so I've finished adding all the clips to the timeline. Let's play the sequence and see what we have. Let's play it in full screen. And that's it. We've automatically added the video clips to the beat of the music. And we just did it in less than a minute, quick and easy. Of course, you can still tweak or change each clip as well as add effects if you want to. Alright, let's proceed with the second example. We have a bunch of clips here for this project. But I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to set the in and out points of each clip. Can we still automatically add the clips to the beat of the music into the timeline? Spoiler alert, yes we can, but it will only add the first portion of the clip until it gets cut off by the next clip on the marker. Okay, so I've placed this song in the timeline. So it's time to add the markers. Here's a pro tip on how to add markers the right way. Most songs, if not all of them, have a beat or rhythm of 4 counts. So you count the beats like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Let's try that on this song. It's best to add the marker on the first beat. Let me show you. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now that we're done adding the markers, we can place the clips into the timeline. If you notice here on the projects panel, the media type of some clips are classified as movie, while some are video. Movie means that the clip has audio in it, while video is just plain footage. To prevent the audio from the movie clip from overwriting the music, we need to lock it by, you guessed it, clicking the lock icon. We then mute the audio layer below. Now we can add the video clips into the timeline using the same process we did earlier. So we've added them nicely. Let's play it and see what we got. Let's play it in full screen. And that's how you edit your videos to the beat of the music in Premiere Pro. It's that easy, huh? Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified on my next video. Thank you for watching.